Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the new iPhone 7 versus the Samsung Galaxy S7 here. So let's boot them up at the same time and check out which is going to be faster in uh, booting up and loading their respective um, operating system, I should say. So iOS 10 versus Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Uh, do keep that in mind that the Galaxy S7 is still using that old TouchWiz UI. I mean, uh, the new TouchWiz UI or the Grace UI on the Note 7 is quite fast, improved. So uh, you can see iPhone 7 faster when it comes to booting up. No surprise there. Just like the 6S, it is uh, definitely keeping the tradition alive. Uh, so let's see here. Same Wi-Fi network. We got... Everything close in the background, that's cool. Let's uh, check out some applications. First off, we'll be opening up some basic system related application just to see how uh, well the speed will look like, you know. So we got uh, the um, phone dialer, uh, no difference whatsoever. Obviously a little bit difference in animation. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be noticing any difference when it comes to system-based applications. Uh, we have the calculator. Again, pretty neck and neck. Uh, let's move towards some third-party stuff. So we got uh, Quora application here. Let's see which one uh, will be faster here. So uh, you can see the iPhone 7. Uh, yeah, definitely the iPhone 7 loads up the feed faster. Let's go back and check out Tinder. And this time the Galaxy S7. Um, next we have Smash Hit, a game. And in terms of gaming, you can expect the iPhone to be faster. Obviously, uh, the iOS gives a, a kind of like an optimization boost to iPhone. Uh, so you cannot expect an Android phone to beat the iPhone when it comes to game load times. Viber. Okay, Galaxy S7 again faster. We got Play Store versus the App Store. Let's see here. Both are taking some time. And Galaxy S7 is done and now followed by the iPhone 7. So, uh, good streak here by the S7. Uh, we'll be loading up Instagram. So, let me just check out this folder here. We go. Okay. So the iPhone 7, without a doubt, faster with the latest feed. Let's uh, go back and check out another game, which is going to be the Temple Run 2 Go. And let's see, the iPhone 7 started loading. Well, look at the speed. It just flies through the loading times. Let's go back and check out something else something like imdb okay there we go you can see galaxy s7 definitely faster here so yeah so far i think uh the the edge with the iphone is that it is faster in games but in other application they will be pretty neck and neck um we can try out zetch uh, my favorite wallpaper application Let's see here. Well, that was, I think, pretty equal. Again, you guys are the judge here. Uh, let's open up the camera and see which one will load this one faster. Go. And the Galaxy S7 is faster. That was actually pretty close, but gain uh, faster is faster. So uh, let's move towards the browser test. We're going to be using Safari on the iPhone versus the internet browser, which is a default browser for Samsung devices on the Galaxy S7. The first website will be theverge.com. So uh, loading up in three, two, one, boom. And notice the blue bar on the top that will tell you which one will finish off first. So um, you can see that the Galaxy S7 at the end, can it finish? Okay, interesting stuff. The iPhone in the middle. And the Galaxy S7 is done and iPhone 7 is also done. So, a one nail and one nail victory with the Galaxy S7. Let's move towards the next website. 
and see if the iPhone 7 can make a comeback or not. And overall, uh, the zooming in and out and everything is just uh, smooth on both phones. You're not going to be noticing any lag with that. Next, we got PhoneArena.com, a tech website. Let's go. Okay, it's, it's a really big tech website, so it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, you can see the Galaxy S7, first one to come to the website. Let's zoom in. Okay, the iPhone 7 is done. Yes, the iPhone 7 made a comeback there. And the Galaxy S7 is, I think, still loading at the end. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. It's, uh, it's now 1-1. One, one. Lastly, we have WBE.com. Here we go. And let's see here what can happen with this website. Who will win? Still 1-1. One, one. Um, the Galaxy S7, a little bit ahead. Can it finish? Okay. No, the iPhone 7 finishes off first and the Galaxy S7 is still at the end. You can see the blue bar. It was ahead of the iPhone when it comes to loading the website, but the iPhone just finished off faster. Uh, I don't know why. I think it's maybe related to uh, the update. You know, the Note 7 was really fast in browsing-wise. Uh, I think because of the update that I received on the Note 7. So like I said, the Galaxy S7 will get improved with the uh, Grace Touch with UI. So let's do the uh, most important and fun part of the speed test. We got the multitasking or RAM management. You can see phone dialer loaded up nicely on both devices. No difference whatsoever. We got a calculator. And again, no difference. Let's see here. Quora, okay, pretty, pretty, pretty nice, got Tinder, I don't use Tinder by the way, okay, it's just for the speed test, <laughs> smash hit, and it is not refresh on either devices, working absolutely fine, and uh, let's check out the Viber, so far so good, pretty neck and neck, Play Store. Okay, you cannot expect the Galaxy S7 to close Play Store, okay? You just can't. And let's move towards the Instagram, okay? Oops, I accidentally loaded the Temple Run. So, we're gonna load Temple Run here also. You can see no refresh. Let's check out Instagram. Pretty nice, pretty perfect. I'm loving it. IMDB, no refresh. Both devices are absolutely killing it. Okay, IMDB, let's try out Zedge, no refresh, Zedge here, and last but not the least, we have the internet that we just opened, and Safari, boom, wow, impressed, impressed by both phones, perfect multitasking, that's what I call a flagship quality multitasking. Let's do the fingerprint sensor test and finish off the speed test, okay? Wow, that was fun. Let's see here. We're going to be doing it at the same time. Boom. Okay, let's try it again. Again. So, it seems like the iPhone 7 unlocks the phone first, but the Galaxy S7 has a faster animation, so they are almost equal, I should say. So, yeah. Uh, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and comment below which you think is the winner and also stay tuned for my full review comparison between these two phones where I'll talk about some serious stuff and I'll help you to make the final decision, you know, whatever phone you want to buy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!